every day under the sun. Please like and subscribe. How to clean the house after ash fall. One thing you need to watch out for is ash on your roof. Although fine materials, dust can be very heavy, especially when mixed with rainwater, and can cause the collapse of a building. Remove them as quickly as you can. Follow this step-by-step -step guide to cleaning the house as soon as ashfall has stopped. Wear protective masks and eyewear. To clean the roof, use a shovel to scrape ash off, especially if you're working with a thick layer. Exercise caution in ash removal. Ash is slippery. Be careful not to fall when working on your roof. Clean the roof and gutters with water to prevent corrosion. To clean the inside of the house, work in sections, starting from the top floor. Open all doors and windows to make sure you have good ventilation before the cleanup. Use water when cleaning surfaces. A soaked cloth or sponge is helpful. Shake loose ash from sofas and other pieces of furniture before using a vacuum cleaner or dish rag to wipe them off. Replace sofas or beds that have been soaked in muddy ash, as it may be hard to remove all traces of ash on them. Clean clothes exposed to ash using powder detergent. Avoid floor sweepers with side brushes as these may throw dust back into the air. Fans will also do more harm than good. Stick to damp rags. Replace air conditioner filters and clean the appliance thoroughly. Check the unit every now and then in the months after the eruption. To clean the exterior of the house, use a garden hose to dampen the ash in the garden and yard. Moistened ash will keep the particles from being whisked into the air. Do make sure to use water sparingly. Otherwise, you will find it hard to remove heavy, thick layers of mud. Use a garden hose to wash windows and doors with soapy water. Gather the ash in an area far from drainage to avoid clogging. Keep the dust in industrial bags and dispose of them quickly. Please like and subscribe.